everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions. Welcome to the first No BS review where I just review the product as is, no BS at all. So if you like that kind of stuff, click the like button. Today we're taking a look at two software from the company called Sugi. We're taking a look at DSP Motion and DSP Action. As you can see, they look quite similar and they're beautifully designed because they allow you to generate sounds according to a drawing. So you can just draw a gesture and you will hear that gesture. So over here you can choose a type of sound. Right now we're taking a look at DSP Motion. So there, these are good for uh, whooshes, pass by, stuff like that. But you can do so much more. So you can decide if you want air, fire, metal, paper, rubber, water, wood, machine, organic, electric, synthetic, granular, animal, mineral, vegetal, and musical. And over here we have the different types of motion. So we have six different motion engine if you want. So move is great for a simple pass by. So right now we're under air and move. So if I want to do a, an air pass by from left to right, I can just draw it by clicking with my mouse and moving my mouse. So just like that, I made a pass by, I can press play to hear it again. If I find that it's too short, I can raise the duration over here. So I have control over the duration of the sample. Just like that. Um, obviously we have different types of motions. So if I want to do uh, a rotating whoosh, I can select the rotate engine and I can just draw something like this, press play. You can always tweak the different settings over here. Uh, we have a bunch of things that we can tweak that will drastically change the sound. These are amazing. I'll get back to it a little bit later. But for now, let me just increase the stereo spread. So when I'm left, the sound is panning to the left a bit more. When I'm right, the sound is gonna pan to the right. So this, this is really wide, I like that kind of stuff. If I don't like that drawing, there's a bunch of different designs I can pick from, from that button over here. So let's try this one. So again, if I want to make it longer, I can just do that. And something I really, really enjoy when they include that kind of stuff in software or plugins is a random button. So as I said, you have a bunch of control that you can change. Uh, the basic control are volume range, modulation. Modulation is really interesting. You can change the modulation rate, so make it slower. So let's say you want to design an ax uh, going through the screen. It would be simple to do. You could just do something like this. So it's as if an axe was thrown and is going right by you. Um, you have the stereo spread as we saw. And in those uh, settings over here, we have a bunch of different layers of sounds. So if you want to hear more of the eye hair, for example, I can just lower everything else and we can just hear one type of sound. If I just want to hear the low air, if I want to hear rumble, so we have a control over what we hear and the mix of the different layers. The tone as well. But the beautiful thing again is the random play. So right now if I set it to full, it will randomize throughout the whole range of, the, of every single setting. So let me try that. So these are really different, but the, the cool thing is, let's say I don't want them to randomize throughout the whole range, I can left click and drag up or down to select a range. So that range will affect the randomize because it will only allow the parameter to be randomized in that specific range. So let me draw a couple of different range and you'll see what it's doing. So now if I click randomize, <laughs> it's only gonna randomize in the specific range that I set. So this is really cool. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, you can generate beautiful accident that way. And uh, now let's move on to the next uh, motion type, which is scale.
So as you can hear, these are great to make wind sounds um, and to, to just have total control on the motion, on the pitch, on the intensity, because you can just draw the curve, replay it as you want. Again, a bunch of different controls. Each um, type of motion have different controls, so it's really powerful what you can do. Once again, let's try random. So if I press reset, it resets everything. And if I click this, it will just reset the drawing. Uh, let's try a specific drawing, something crazy just for fun. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. It's super easy to do and you have full control over the tone and the layers, the duration and the motion. So it's, it's really cool. Um, the appear, now we're still in air, but you'll notice that the sound is different. These are bubbles. Uh, it's just to match the type of engine that it's uh, using. So we can have one shot. So this is just gonna be one bubble, double, and infinite. And again, randomize. See how crazy this is? So let's say I like that, I could click on keep and click snap. Snap will export the WAV file of that specific sound and it won't ask you for a folder for anything. You just have to go specify the snap folder in the settings super fast and easy. I just click it, it exported a WAV file. I can move on and do other sounds. Now the render is different. The render, you can specify the amount of renders. So I can go, uh, for example, from one to pretty much unlimited and it will create variation depending on the random play that you selected. So right now I have full uh, random play settings, but again, if you specify different range, um, the variation will respect those range. So I can easily generate a bunch of variation. Let's try that. Let's click render and I'll show you the different files as the export. So just like that, it rendered four variations so we can listen to them. So I just generated four random variation, uh, super easily, super fast. I like that. Now let's go to merge. These are good for uh, doing a motion, then an impact. Again, we can randomize. Cool, let's try transform. These are different. Uh, as you can see, the corners are brighter. It's because it has four layers and each corner is one layer. So you can blend between four layers by moving around. So let's try that. Just like that, beautiful. Um, you also have a knitted button over here. This, if you specify in the settings a path to your DAW or to an audio editing software, by clicking edit, it will export the WAV file and import it in your favorite or selected DAW. So let's say if I select Reaper, I can just click edit. It will open it in Reaper and I can tweak it even more in there. So beautiful. Now let's look at a couple of different sound types. So we just looked at air, let's try fire. So a pass by. You don't have to do a pass by, you can go up and down. And move around even if you're in the move engine. Now rotate. Let's randomize it. Very cool. Now scale. Super nice, appear. So this sounds like a match. You can change the tone.
super nice. Uh, let's try the merge. So this is a fire impact. That would be great for fire magic. Transform. This is funky. Let's try metal now. Wow, these are really different from one another. Some scrapes. I feel like I'm in a horror movie right now. <laughs> Appear. So these are impacts. Nice. These are intense. Let's try paper. Oh, this is great. If you want to do drawings. Just like that. I love that. So if you're tearing a piece of paper. Nice. Let's try transform. So you have a bunch of stuff like that. Water, machines. Super cool, I love machines. This is a computer keyboard. So cool. Usually we'd have to buy different sound libraries for those effects and it could be really expensive. You can do a bunch of stuff in that uh, software. Let's try electric. Nice. Organic are always fun as effects. So if you're a sound designer, um, you're probably not gonna use those SFX as is, but it's amazing to have a base layer and add up to it uh, because these are basically perfect in terms of timing and motion because you just draw them beforehand, you tweak the duration so it's perfect to the animation or to what you see on the screen. And then you export that and you can add layers. And the thing is you can add different air, organic, electric layers on top of each other and it makes a huge sound. It's beautiful. Uh, you also have a granular engine. Really cool stuff. Uh, let's try one last uh, sound, vegetal. like that super fun as I said there's 
a lot of settings that you can tweak for each type of sound, but the random is really amazing. You can easily make different variation, export them to either your middleware or your DAW. Now let's take a quick look at DSP action, same type of interface. The main difference in this one is these are action sounds, so there's a lot of impacts, hits, stuff like that. And if you change the different uh, gesture type or engines, they will also change the type of sounds. So they have a bunch of different sounds for the different engines that you see on the left uh, right here. So let's start with break. Let's listen to a couple. Let's start with crack and break. Again, you can randomize. You can specify a range for the randomization as well. Just like in the other plugin, you also have different controls and speed. Everything is the same. You have shapes as well, so same kind of stuff. Let's try crash. Digital. Shards. Let's try wood. Random. Fun textures. Now let's take a look at hit. So we have anime. <laughs> this could be useful. Uh, let's try blade. Cool stuff. Body fall. So these are different intensities. So if I want a uh, small one or a big one, and then I can, oh, you can randomize the lines as well. So if I draw something like this, uh, this is a bit muddy in my opinion. Let's try bullets, bullet shells. This is nice. You can just draw the exact motion. This is always cool. Cannon. There's a bunch of sounds that I like, but to me, uh, this sounds a bit lo-fi. Um, but it's still fun to play around with. Symbols. Let's try Thunder. Oh. I really like those textures. I don't like the, the Thunder hit as much, but those textures are great. Um, let's try Punch. Let's try randomize. Now let's go into the move. This is kind of cool. For plane motion, a car. So again, randomization can create some really interesting sounds, but for now I will put the modulation to zero. Um, so good for passbys. Now let's try scrape. These are like guitar string scrapes. Wood. Synth. This is kind of cool. Let's try ground. Randomize. Huh. Let's try start, stop. This is a different kind of engine. Kind of like that. 
alarm. Now, I don't see why I would use this software for an alarm. It's super easy to just get a good sounding alarm or to create one yourself, uh, but it's still nice to have a bass drop. That's nice because you can um, do a motion with the exact timing and pitch that you want. And you can add some stereo spread if you want. Now, if you click the auto button right here, what it does is as soon as you tweak a setting, you will hear what you just did. So it's an autoplay if you tweak a setting. That's kind of cool. Let's try beam. This is really intense. Let's try countdown. So I can draw a curve with the exact speed of a countdown. Let's try randomize. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Interesting. Huh. These are cave drop sounds. It reminds me of the Dreamcast intro sound. It had similar uh, type of SFX in it. Car engine. Doesn't sound too great to me. Spaceship. Kind of cool. Let's try to transform now. Uh, chimes. Fight. So it's kind of like if you were a Foley artist, you can just draw, if you want whoosh, small hits or high hits. So you can look at a video, for example, or an animation and just do Kind of cool. Um, firearm. Let's try randomize. I'm not sure I would use that, but it's nice. Glitches. That's cool. Let's put it faster just to see what it sounds like. That's kind of nice. Um, gunshots, um, nanobots. Let's try rewind. So that's really nice. Uh, there's a bunch of sounds that I didn't go through, but the beautiful thing is you can save any of the settings, load them, export them super uh, quickly, render different variation, edit it in your DAW, export it and choose exactly where you want it to go, how many variations you want, the naming scheme, stuff like that. You have a bunch of options and they're not expensive. If you go take a look at their website over here, you can go under product and you will see every single products that they have. They have a bunch of things like game synth. I might review game synth. It is a really powerful and interesting uh, plugin as well. But here we have DSP motion and DSP action. Um, they just released version 1.2 of DSP Motion. I think it's great for uh, creating different variations. I wouldn't use it as my only uh, sound effects uh, tool, uh, but it, it, sh it sure is fun to use and it's super instinctive and I can create different layers with it. So it's beautiful, only 49 bucks. 
at the time of recording of this video. I'll leave a link to their website in the description, so make sure to check it out and leave me a comment below. Uh, I, I would like to know what's the main plugins or software that you use for sound design like this. Uh, if you're sound designing new sources, what's your top three plugins? I'm always interested in learning what other people are using. So if I hope you like that. As usual, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.